Let me just enjoy it for a second. Okay, we don't have much time. Whew. All right. Get the thing going here. All right, everybody. <clears throat> I prepared a multimedia presentation today for you guys. And I'm going for broke because I'm never coming back. I'll never, they'll have, never have me back after this shit. So uh, um, everyone just chill out. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Uh, shit. Uh, shit. Uh, fuck shit. Sorry. We don't have much time. And uh, okay. We don't have much time. Okay, here we go. Hello, AIGA, and all of you guys for having me here to tell my little half-ass story uh, to everyone out back and some heavy hitters back there. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> A Paul Bunyan size thank you to, to the head, heart, and hand for bringing me here. All the AIGA chapters who have rolled the dice on this man mountain here. Yeah, yeah. The Hyatt, the Hyatt Flophouse have been averaging about an 850 thread count this whole fall tour, and thank you. All the valet bros have been getting to know the last four or five days, and the idea Diner up on Central. <clears throat> Thank you. All right. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Okay. All right. Our legal team prepared a little thing. It's tricky coming out. Here's a lot of people in the crowd, and well, I've been known to let a couple things fly, and I we prepared a little sign off for you guys. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Thank you. Are there are there are there are there any coders in the crowd today? Any any web developers? Okay. Great. Great. Okay. Well. There won't be any fucking full time for this. So, uh, sorry. It's the best part. Yeah, all right. Okay. All right. Our intention is to come all this way. I, I live in Portland, Oregon. I'm 39. I'm 39 years old. I'll be 40 on Tuesday, right? And, yeah. I want to just clear the air. Whatever you know about your lives and your job and, and what you do for a living, all that stuff, just put on hold, right? I want to blow you away with some tall tales, a tall tale, and some vectors, and some hot air, and little thoughts, and big thoughts, and I want to defy the fucking odds, right? Because, because, man, I shouldn't be up here, all right? All right? That shit's science, man. No credentials whatsoever, right? No accolades. Go Google that shit. Good luck, right? Right? I've never won an award. I've never tried for an award. Paperweights, man. That's doorstops and shit. Anyway, I don't have a book to sell. Yet, I'm getting there. And I usually don't wear pants, so today I, I got my, my target cutoffs here for, you know, to class to join up. Okay, we have a PSA prepared tonight, and uh, this is for all the good looking, young, smart, savvy, sophisticated graphic designers in the audience today. Pretty good looking bunch. A couple questionable, sure, sure. But uh, to all you in the crowd coming on up, good new skills, let's stay the fuck out of Portland, Oregon. My stock is going down as this talk keeps going, so just get a job back here for 3M. Figure it out. <laughs> I'm from Michigan. I was born in 1973, right? All right, would you guys relax? Okay. Detroit, Michigan. I had a dad who worked at a big steel plant. My mom, they made me in 73 and a lot of hair by 1980. And uh, we go from Detroit to a lot, tiny little town in northern Michigan. You're basic kind of growing up until you get to when you play basketball. <laughs> and, you know, I tried my hand at this shit, but that's the divide, man. That was the divide between the cool kids and the not so cool kids. I definitely picked the latter, and thank God, right? We all did, right? Right? In 1987, I go to Traverse City, Michigan, and I'm a skateboarder in the summer and I'm a snowboarder in the winter, right? And that's what I do. That's where our priorities, right? Now, this isn't about winning medals. 
This isn't about who's the fastest or the best looking or any of that bullshit. This is about six dudes in a Subaru going snowboarding, right? Or whatever the hell, right? right? 1993, smarter people than me are going to school, man. I, I went to a tiny little community college, but people are going to go learn how to tuck shirts in and shit. I go all the way to Oregon to go to the mountains to be a snowboarder. I get to go all over the West, and I'm drawing all analog pursuits, of course, because I don't have a computer. I'm painting futon covers, whatever it takes, man, whatever it takes. I do my first snowboard graphic for 300 bucks, 300 bucks, and, and that's where I get that first taste that I can make a life or make a little cash, maybe, on, on graphic design or just art, right? But I don't have a computer. So how you get a computer, you work your ass off. I go all the way to Alaska, all, 1996. I'm a, I'm a dishwasher on a sightseeing train. It's rough, it's rough. Long hours while you're enjoying your nice lives, you know, from, I don't know, high school to college to Votech to a halfway house to some big, some big agency job. If you look real close, I was sleeping in between shifts. Some dick put a mosquito on my lip. It's great, right? Yeah. Four summers of that shit so I can get a computer to make vectors. Four summers. Okay, well, I come back to Minnesota. I get a big highfalutin degree at the MCAD here in Minneapolis College of Art and Design. Yeah. I came here because of my heroes. My heroes were here, these underdogs, be it bands, be it Mr. Chuck Anderson was here. And I started making logos and learning how to talk about my work and whatever. I go take a, my first job after college all the way down to Southern California and screw up and I go down there and it's, yeah, there's fucking pre prehistoric ferns and whatever, all that down there, you know. But I got to work for a snowboard magazine. So that's my first kind of job, you know, and I think I made 37500 bucks a year, right, right, right? Nothing down there in 2000. Uh, but I do that for two years, 22 months, and I get my ass back up to Oregon. I get rescued back to Oregon. There I get to work for small, cool, scrappy brands in a, in a, a killer shop called Cinco Design Office. You know, I'd been a fan of these guys and I get this cool job. And there I get to work on Nixon watches and I'm designing watches, uh, making shoe ads and stuff. But you also get to see the politics, even at a small scale. This is a cool shop, but the small, the, the, the small scale politics of Meetings about meetings. And I just sort of, I can't handle all this stuff. Emails about emails. So I jump out. My freelance tipped. I could make more money after 6 o'clock on my own time than I ever could, you know, pretend to want to be there. So I buy a house. I buy a house. I jump out, 2004. I buy a house. I get a wiener dog as protection. <laughs> Gary. I, I trick my basement out to my spec. To my spec. Right, 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 right. So that's when I become the Draplin Design Company. I've already wasted so much time just telling you my history, but what, what's important is there's, there's going to be a lot of ups and downs, man. You've got to keep fighting, right? And to me, for me to get to 30 years old, 10 years ago, uh, it, took, it, it was rough, right? But I, I did get to go and, and see the West and see the world and uh, hang out with ex-cons and Alaska and whatever else. But in the last 10 years, I've been on my own. It's been my own deal basement and now we have a studio and stuff but here's proof here's proof of 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 uh, not i'm not here i don't want your job right you guys I don't, i'm not here to have you hire me i'm not here to you know like say i i do this better win awards or whatever i'm just here to say i got away with it really i got away with it and and here's proof one of them got me 25 grand one of them i got paid with a burrito here goes, a little band from England to help me kick it along. Here we go.
All right, that's the part. I'm not gonna do it. I can feel it in my toes and my knees and my balls and my girth. And I'm gonna start to cry, man, because I'm not showing you shit to get the big job, man. I'm just showing you that you can make a life in design and sometimes make a load of money. And then sometimes I make nothing, you know, and get away with it. And thinking that, you know, pr that's proof. That's proof. And here's more, you know, I mean, uh, what happens when that, that client comes to you and says, we have no money, right? Now, designers love to say, oh, we, we can't do that job, you know, we, you know, whatever. I, might, I would never do it for that creative control or you know, our prices, our fee is this. Well, when my buddy Corey comes to me, he's got a hot dog cart, you know, and he comes to me and he says, we're in trouble, Drapplin. We're in trouble. Uh, you know, the G.I. Joe, you know, Co Cobra Commander logo, we put that on the side of the cart, had ketchup and mustard dripping out. We sold a sweatshirt to some kid. His dad was a, a lawyer for Hasbro or something. I don't know. He gets a cease and desist packet, big, thick thing. You know, he's freaked out. He comes to me and says, man, I got no money. The cool place in town, they have no time for this shit. And, and, and the hipster place with an X, with a couple initials around it, you know about those guys, right? Yeah. Oh, they got no time either. They're fucking busy, you know, waxing their mustaches and shit. Great, great, great. So, you know, he, he comes to me, freaks out. This isn't about money now. This is about love. This is about like rescuing your buddy. So we make him a logo, this little Cobra Dogs logo, and there's some big brief, you know, that thing should be eating its tail and all this kind of shit. So we, you know, we make him this logo, and now when there's no one, there are no bean counters there to worry about, you know, the emails about email and all that kind of other bullshit that just convolutes this process, we have the time to go saw bass every little corner. You know what I'm saying? Like I was taught by the masters, right? And isn't that funny how we don't have, there's no room for that shit. But when you're making something because it's fun, it just starts taking on its own life. I mean, it's hot dogs, you guys. It's no big deal, right? But eight years later, this little job, it's a real thing. And my buddy Corey's got seven or eight employees. It's totally cool. You know, he's franchising this shit all over the West. And I look back now, this, is, this one on the right was for a little, little brand called Nike. I'm glad that we're recording this, uh, but a little brand called Nike, they, uh, they do the shoes out in the Northwest. Great group of people, and they're going places, sure. I've been able to, I've been able to work for them a couple times, you know? Now, in my town of Portland, everyone works for them, you know? But I haven't quite taken that big hook just yet, you know, whatever, but when I look back at the last 10 years, I don't think about that shit, man. It was a paycheck. I hate, I, it was all over the world. I got to see it in Munich one week, uh, New York, Piccadilly Circus, London. We were traveling. I got to see it all over the world. I think about Cobra Dogs. I got to make that shit. I, I never made a cent. One time he, he catered one of my barbecues. But I, I think back, I made his mom happy. That was cool. I made his mom happy. All right, all right. Okay. Here's a chance to say thanks. Oh man, I got a little project I work on called Field Notes, right? And we are putting dots on a map. They're little memo books made, you know, from the vanishing subgenre of agricultural landscape, whatever, but I couldn't find ones I liked, you know? So I made my own. And this thing is taking off. You guys are buying these, someone's buying these things. I'm just here to say thank you. We can invent our own products. We're hired all day long. Uh, hired all day long by someone smarter than us to work for some little fee and then you invent something for them and then motherfucker gets a cigarette boat out on Lake, you know, uh, the Mississippi, Mississippi River, whatever, right, right? That's how it works, right? My job now with this little client, this life, the Monday, right? Now my life is like this, to take the thousand memo books I've hoarded over the years from junk drawers and estate sales and whatever and scan them all in, right? Scan them all in, all clipped out by Lee, of course, Clip, you guys know what Clipper's Claw is? Clipper's Claw, when you clip a bunch of pass, well, she had Clipper's Claw for about six months after this, but that's her life now. I'm just here to say thanks. We make little leather pouches. We make little wooden boxes made in Brooklyn. Uh, big news for field notes, coated paper. I know, I know. Boy, tough crowd. Tough crowd, huh? It's all right, it's all right, all right, it's all right, okay. The night sky this summer, uh, our new beer edition we just put out for all the beer people in the crowd. Okay, we're moving right along. I'm just here to say thank you. This stuff is fun. We can invent our own shit, and then you can make a little bit of cash or whatever you want to call it, or just make your own products. We get to do that. We're paid to do that. Don't forget, after 6 o'clock, you can go do that yourself, right? Okay. Just because, just because, Lauren Drapman, my mom, is in the crowd tonight. My mom, look at that. Yeah. 10,000 point Futura Bowl. Yeah, all right. Moving right along, okay. Here's my challenge to you guys. Here's my challenge. Here's my challenge. Go out there and get dirty. We live these manicured lives, man. Everything's on your dingleberry or whatever. Everything's backed up and 
and you know, you're fucking taking pictures of coffee and all this kind of shit, where everything is so simple and clean, and you never have to leave your thing. Go get dirty. Go. I bought a van. You could live in that van. And I don't know what you guys do for fun, like farmers markets and whatever people do. I don't know. They go taste wine and shit, whatever. Me and Rhino, we go to shit like this. Yeah. And we go digging, right? We go and find the, gra here's an academic thing, the graphic treasures of the American underbelly, right? We go digging because, listen, we know about these guys. I know about them. I've been able to meet a couple of them. I got to meet my school and That was pretty cool. But I like the idea that before this shit, just decorating that we call design now, it was a trade, man. You got to pick, like, small engine repair, you know, uh, bounty hunting, ooh, commercial art. That was this shit, man, all right? Don't ever forget this stuff. The restraint these guys exhibit, you know, I mean, there was the, they used to paint logos. They used to paint a logo and take a picture of it and then blow it up and look at it. And two weeks later, they get another version, whatever it was. We do this in nine clicks now. Don't ever forget that. Now, if this isn't your thing, if it isn't your thing, that's cool. That's cool. The idea is, you know, it's, it's a principle that this, something this big or this big, still working, is saw bass. That'll never go out of style, right? Or the idea that you use, to use one color on some crappy cardboard, that's challenging. But these guys did it. They did it for years, and just don't forget about it. Go out there and take pictures of it and share it and get dirty, and then go back to your, our manicured lives, right? I've been doing it for years on my Flickers and my Instagrizz and just all that shit. So that's my challenge to you, right? Okay. These are each a centimeter big. Now they're 50 feet high. And it still works. And we're losing that shit. Now we have a million typefaces, a million colors. Shit was due yesterday, all that. And the work isn't as good, right? Isn't that? So just slow down. Don't forget about these guys. Always be looking, OK? All right, I want you guys to get cosmic. There's another PSA. Whatever. I'll say what I want, right? OK, here we go. OK? I forgot about this. I forgot about that we're on this rock floating out in the middle of nowhere. We have, who has, we have no idea. 70 miles that way is St. Cloud, right? What happens if you go 70 million miles this way, right? right? And when my little sister had this beautiful little boy named Oliver, I got to hold him that day. I got to hold him, and you know, he's so beautiful, and I just, here come the waterworks, I'm crying, and I look at his little tiny pinky nail and his little tiny foot, and I got real cosmic for a second. He reminded me about this. Like, whoa, 70 miles that way is St. Cloud. 70 million miles, we have no fucking idea, right? And depending on how you vote, that's actually science. That's science. Yeah, that's science. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. This is the part of the show in South Carolina where a couple guys got up and walked out. But I, that's all right. That's all right. We can chill out a little bit and get a little more cosmic, right? Just a little bit, just a little bit. Special interactive section. Okay, okay. Get out your Twitter now. Now you're loud, okay. My gal Lee is in the crowd today. That's right. And I want you to send her a tweet to at Leola. All right, let's really blow it up. So get out your Twitter. I know you've been tweeting about coffee and sport tweets and all this other bullshit, whatever. Now. All right, okay. What's next for the DDC? We're almost done. We're making shitty bumper stickers. Got my dad illustrated. This is against the law, to, you know, whatever, but we made a fake union printing logo, whatever. When you go to Wall Drug or, you know, the Corn Palace next, there's going to be a, sh a stack of shit ass yeah stickers sitting there. No price tag, no nothing. All right, that's coming. Tenth year with Cole Headwear. I made shirts for big men and big men only, right? This small through extra large shit, that's like seventh grade, man. Right? <laughs> Logos and architectural rendering for Woolrich and 10th uh, year with Union Binding Company and records for bands and I got to go to a big music fest and do all their posters and shit. Could care less about Vampire Weekend. Unlistenable at best. But still, Tame Impala was there. They were great. <laughs> Made shitty hats in Ohio. Yeah. Oh, these are great. These are the real deal. Logo for Mr. Jason San Maria from Editorial. These are smart, smart people, right? So check that out. And, I made, I'm a child of the space shuttle, so I made a space shuttle poster, you know, I just made and stickers and patches and shit, that's all coming. Why not go for the, why not go for the gold? I went, I made a logo for the sun, right? Why not? <laughs> that's cool. I have a show right now at MCAT. If you guys want to go slumming, go up Nicolette, about 20 blocks, go to MCAT. It's called Pretty Much Everything up to October 11th, 2013. That went on last night. That was cool. I'm in the middle of a four record set for ATO Records about Civil War, recontextual, whatever, you know, these contemporary stars. Four record set. I'm doing that. 
I got a personal trainer. <laughs> with the ropes and the jumping up the stairs and ass crunches and all this shit. Well, party's over, AIGA, party's over. Okay. I'm going to spend more time with my mom and my dad, right, right, right? My mom and dad live in Michigan. Here's my dad making birdhouses. No birds live in northern Michigan anymore. They all live in my parents' backyard, right? <laughs> and he realizes I walk up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here he is showing the window on his 1999, you know, Mercury Despair or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I have been working my ass off for a lot of years so I can take care of my mom and dad. Because I don't want them ever working again. I want my dad just to make birdhouses, right? He calls them stuffed birdhouses. Look at these things. I want my mom to work on her garden, and that's it. They worked long enough. So I'm, I'm, I'm going apeshit on this tour, whatever. Okay. Look at all the places I've been able to tell this story. I'm so over time, sorry. Look at all this, right? Look at all this time. The show will go on. I'm on my fall tour right now, going to all these places, going ape shit. Thank you guys for coming out, right? Right? I'm going to, who goes to Yakima? I can't wait to go to Yakima. <laughs> Made a tour t shirt where I'm ripping my dog in half, right? Yeah. <laughs> all the dates in the back, all the dates in the back, sure, Jim. Okay, all the way at the very top, the things I love. We're just going to set the record straight once and for all. I'm never coming back, never coming back. I love my mom, all right? I love my, my dad. I'm sorry. <laughs> my little nephew Oliver, man. Wow. Rhino, I love Rhino. My right. Rhino. I love my buddy Dale, yeah. I love America, man. We get to live here, it's, you know. Love the man. I love Autumn, I love Autumn. Yeah. I love guitars, I love records, I love ghost signs, I love sweatpants, holy shit, I love sweatpants. I love Futura Bold, I love old signs, I love my favorite logo of all time. I remember it from 1976, man, I was three, right? I love Legos. My favorite band of all time are the Flaming Lips, right? The Flaming Lips. Been known to get backstage with these guys and tell them thank you. If these turkeys could do it, any of us could do it, right? right? Really, right. All right, here we're gonna climb Dickhead Mountain together. No more crying. And all the way at the top, Kid Rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking shape-shifting hunk of shit. Well, I'm from Detroit, and this is who we have. It's the strippers, and it's the, the, the ghetto pass, and he's a good old boy, and he's new metal, and he's going to shoot Iran with Romney or whatever the fuck. I don't like sandals at a wedding. That's right. It's not funny or eclectic, okay? Sick of the beach theme shit. Well, I don't like Toby Keith. I don't like Primark abuse. It's a key command. I don't like stacked food. I don't like this turd. Oh, here's a, here's a little something. This turkey, you can't get that shit right, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, making 10 times what you make, right, right? Sick of this shit. I don't like this guy. I smell jock on that guy. Red Camaro, 1988, call me a pretty rough name. And now he's wild. And he's gonna sell you some hot chicken snap, smack a mac, what the fuck sauce, or whatever the fuck. Fuck this guy, all right? I don't like pineapple. So over time. Sorry, AIJ, sorry. I don't like hipsters dressing like Amish guys. Spoke to my wife. Yeah. 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 All right. Our attempt at a high note closer, you guys. Work hard and love this shit, man. Who here's dug a ditch? Who here's dug a ditch? 
I have, ooh, a lot of soft hands in the crowd, huh? Yeah, nice. Well, yeah. So, you guys, we are designers and artists and photographers and stuff. I don't complain, man. I don't, I'm not allowed, I don't indulge in complaining about my job. I've dug a ditch. I battled hornets, I've washed dishes with fuckers up in Alaska, whatever. You know, love this stuff, you guys. Say yes a little more than you say no. A little more. Someone <laughs> said it so much more elegantly than I ever will. But I mean, this is a big theme. Designers love to say no. I won't do it for that timing. I won't do it for that price. How dare they? Blah, blah. Fuck, I say yes. You know, I say yes. And it gets projects along. Or I overexceed for them. And they don't see that coming, you know. I love when someone says, and can you believe it over some $100 stacked food dinner? Can you believe that? The client picked the shitty one. Why'd you show them shit? <laughs> All right. This exists, you guys. This exists. Same guys I would have been on a chairlift with, I got to work for. I got to work for. And I got a short list of some other ones, but they'll die soon. That's okay. We're on Twitter. Give us a shot. Give us a shot. I promise no tweets about coffee or nothing. We got a merch table. Not sanctioned necessarily by AIGA, but we're going to be somewhere with a bunch of merch here, you know, for Minnesota-only prices, little trinkets to take home. We made a poster for the event. Come and get one. 666 logos, right? Not bad, right? Not bad, right? Little poster here. I got it right here. Just, just right here. So over time, right? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, right? Yeah, right. 25 bucks, such a deal. I don't even care, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. We can stand here. We can stand right, okay. here. Okay, okay, okay. Have a little respect. Have a little respect for. So, yeah. as a national treasure. Ooh, yeah, yeah. I mean, truly, I, I was. I thought you were going to be scary, but you're the most lovable man yeah, in Jesus. America. Yeah, yeah. You know. And, and thanks. Yeah, but 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 I'm but I'm curious. You know, you say things like, uh, "What was it, David Carson, that puked out bunch uh, oh, discombobulated yeah, garbage," yeah, 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 yeah. as you described the 1990s ooh, in design. Ooh, ooh, yeah. do, do you scare off clients? Do clients oh. go for this? No, uh, because that shit didn't really work for design. So, uh, you know, uh, fashion comes and goes, and and no, no. First of all, um, there's much smarter clients. And if they don't want to be around me, that's, that's totally fine. There's a, oh, I've met a lot of ones that they can go work with, no problem. Smart, smart people. I, I've been there. I can morph to handle their, their thing. They would never know they're talking really to this. Uh -huh. right? Now, a lot of my jobs in New York and stuff, I don't meet them until the job is done and paid for. <laughs> Then I meet them and it's cool because I'm always afraid that they saw just, I have a very challenging face as is, and they'd freak out. So, uh, no, I don't scare anyone away. I've been able to get away with this stuff with my friends, and it's ramped up from that. So this, this character that you play so beautifully and hilariously play. and wonderfully. This is it. We're all playing characters. Um, this is who you were, and you just decided 15 years ago, I'll start blogging, I'll start talking, I'll be yeah. this guy in public. Well. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of it. And you can, I have four of the finest citizens right there that can attest to this bullshit. I mean, it's, um, sure, now it's a big old shtick, sure. But <laughs> that's kind of how it is. You know, I, I, I don't know how to say it. It's like, uh, I don't, I don't want to pretend to like my job. I love my job, right? Now, that didn't mean I got to go for the gold, but who even cares about the bronze? You know what I'm saying? So this persona or this bullshit, it's pretty close. But as Leo say, like, you know, I got, like, Wow, make hair. my hat bigger. Yeah. Make my hat bigger because my head's so big after, you know, all this shit. So I don't know how do you balance that. But Tuesday I turn 40, and then I'm gonna slow down. So yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, it was a total pleasure, and obviously these people uh, thought so too. Thank you so much. Thanks, babe. Thank you.